Right guys, here we have a gravel hound, yeah, by Tamiya. This was actually gifted to me by a friend who's uh, basically had this guy in his garage <laughs> probably since about 20, 2004, maybe, something like that. I'm sure there's a date marking on here somewhere, we'll watch that a bit later. Uh, but yeah, what I want to do with this guy is, um, I just want to update it to basically uh, some modern standards. So... Um, I haven't really looked at it at the moment. It looks, everything looks like as if it's in good working order. This is actually a four wheel drive unit, so all well, that seems to be working pretty well. Uh, yeah, but I really I want to change out the motor. Yeah, this Nike had battery's got to go. Um, yeah, we get a nice LiPo in there. Yeah, we've still got this um, AM 27 megahertz two channel receiver. I mean, I'm sure all this stuff works, but uh, yeah, we need to modernize this, man. Uh, what have we got here? This is the original Tamiya uh, speed controller, the ECU. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I just want to have a quick, uh, have a quick look round. Yeah, I just want to show how bad that front suspension is. You can clearly see that the left side is lower, and that's all because of that spring. Let's have a little closer look at that. So just here. Let's just focus it up. Just there. Just here. The man is missing completely at the bottom, so it's not holding itself up. I mean, it's not it's not been pushing all that down, so it's just falling. There's there's no suspension there. That is going to be a rough, rough ride. I mean, this is the way it should look. There's the mount at the bottom. You see the bill is moving up and down nicely. That's exactly what we want. So what I've gone and done, I've I've gone ahead and just ordered uh, four four oil shocks uh, for the whole for the whole buggy. Auto back. I have also ordered a uh, a twenty one point uh, five T uh, five forty equivalent motor for the back brushless. Um, I actually have a I had this lying around, so I'm going to try this out. If it's not good enough, I can always replace it with something else. It is a forty five amp uh, control speed controller. Sorry about that. Yes, yeah, so this is ready to go. And I have this line around from a previous buggy. It's a small battery, but I mean, it should get the job done. And if we do anything, anything else, I believe I have got a uh, 4,000 uh, four cell, um, yeah, line around in my garage. I mean, other than that, uh, other than the, the actual body work, so obviously the uh, this is broken off. We're gonna just get rid of this now. I think I'm just gonna probably take this whole uh, uh, sorry, this whole spoiler bit off completely. Uh, we're more than likely going to lose the aerial. We're not going to need that. We're going to lose all of this old tech. Uh, perhaps we'll try and sell it. I don't know. Somebody might be interested in some of this stuff. I mean, I'm sure there's uh, people still running <laughs> the AM, uh, the AM receivers. You never know. Uh, but what I do have is I actually want to. If I just so here. I actually have this old uh, this old shell here. It's a pretty good shell. Uh, it doesn't fit perfectly. I mean, if I try and get it on here, you see what I mean. So the whole spacing is great. It actually doesn't match. Um, I might be able to get away with the front. That does look a bit weird. But I might get away with the front. It might. Maybe I can put some kind of space out up in the walls by the turn. Yeah. Might have to. Uh, do something there, we'll see. We'll hodgepodge something together with the, with the case. I'm not too bothered about the case, but it's just this was lying around. Maybe I can cut away the arches a bit at the back to get the wheels to fit in. And also we're gonna have to extend the uh, these uh, shell clip holders here. I've, bought some, I've got some extensions to raise these up. Yeah, so when all the stuff comes in, uh, we'll get on uh, trying to sort this guy out. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to just uh, take a few things apart. 
<coughs> things that we're not going to need. So um, I might start by just taking the battery out, get these old rusty clips off. We'll keep everything to one side because um, I'm sure we're going to need these. You know, these always come in handy. And that's the battery clip. And we're going to have to clean all of this. Look at how dusty this is. We're going to have to take it, take it apart quite a lot actually. Uh, let's get that out. Let's get the battery unclipped. I mean, I'm not sure this battery can be used at all. Uh, yeah, the no mark is on this battery. It just seems like some kind of a generic NICAD, but yeah, I don't think we'll be using that at all. Uh, Those my clippers. Let's open up some of these cable ties. Being careful not to uh, cut the wires. Wow, oh, these ain't been released for probably 20 years. So, I have a pile of rubbish and a pile of uh, keep. Uh, do we need to open these up? So, let's undo these. Are, this is probably just like this from the factory, you know? These are factory cable ties. Alright, get that undone. Okay. The servo, we're going to keep the same servo. Hopefully, that works. That is in channel 1. Let's get that guy out. There you go, there's a servo connector. Uh, this is the one going to the speed controller. And this is the battery power. Right, there we go. Let's unscrew the aerial. And what I'll do is actually replace that screw just in case we need it for something else. Right, so let's disconnect the motor. That's the on off switch. That's a couple of screws. Let's get the on off switch out. And all I want to do now is get some of this stuff off so we can actually clean, because this does need to be cleaned. Okay, so I don't want to lose those screws. Let's get these. Let's get these screws out. Just push them out, and then we'll put them in a little container. magnetized to the motor now, but we're going to get to that in a second. So, let's just open those wires. That's, that's the uh, steering servo. There's an on off switch. So, now uh, we can take these off, and I guess these are just stuck down. Are they stuck down? Are they stuck? Yeah, it's just double sided tape. Look at that. That is old. <laughs> that is so old. God knows what's in here. What is this? Made in Malaysia. We should clean these up and have a closer look at these later. Little LED in there. Yeah. Kind of, I'm actually familiar with these, to be honest. It's just the module. Alright, so we'll have, to take, we'll have a closer look at those later. That's the module. Ooh. Don't want to actually open that up. This is stuck on good. Maybe we can get it off by peeling this off. No, I have got a little scoop. I have got a little scoopy thing. We shall use this mini pry bar. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to try not to break anything. This is releasing there. Right, there is the controller. Number five, it does open up. We'll have a closer look at that in a second. I'll clean up, we'll have a closer look. I'll put it aside for now. Okay, so the motor, is it worth taking the motor out? Probably is. I don't want to take it down too much. Uh, but I just want to get those out of the way. So, 
Is there going to be screws under here? Probably have to get rid of this. Let's get this out of the way. Of course, that's what would happen. There we go, it's coming off nice. We'll get some mass prop alcohol on this and clean it up properly afterwards. Let's just get most of it off. I want this uh, to be nice and fresh when we're done with it. There we go. That's pretty good. So, I think we can leave the server down there. I'll take some photographs of that and I'll, I'll stick those in the edit just so you can see what it is. I mean, hopefully it works. Then I might have to order another one. Uh, should we just let's just open up this uh, the uh, gearbox here? Let's just have a look, see what kind of condition the pinion and sprocket is in. Because if we need to replace it, I'll have to order that now. You know, I've already got I've already got some parts on order, so I've got a new uh, radio controller on its way. Um, I have got. What's it ordered? Oh yeah, we've got the suspension the oil, the oil suspensions on its way. The shocks. Uh, is that all I need to undo? Do I need to undo this as well? Is this something needs to be undone? Is that it? Oh, we're getting some movement. There we go. Hopefully everything is nice and cushy underneath here. Well. Wow. That looks pretty good. That looks really good. I mean, the sprocket could do with uh, moving forward a touch. But yeah, that looks that looks like it's working really well. Can we slide this out. Yes, we can. Okay, let's get our grab our little washer. We we'll need that for placing the switch later. Yeah, but I think. Uh, this buggy seems to be in pretty good condition, apart from the suspension. Well, I don't know, let's take a closer look at some of the other components. Just want to quickly show you, you know, how nice it's actually working. It is working really well. You can see the shaft there in the middle as well. It's actually turning the front wheels as well, actually. It's a bit difficult holding this at the moment, but yeah. Well, that seems to be working well. There doesn't seem to be any teeth missing or anything like that. I mean, we will clean it up and put some fresh grease on or anything like that. Hopefully the uh, uh, the front side of this gearbox is uh, just as well as the back. Let's take a closer look at the uh, Tamiya TPR132JE. This is an AM 27 megahertz two channel receiver. Old school indeed. Looks like whoever was writing this before was uh, number five. For those of you who don't know, this is the uh, this is the crystal, the clock that sets the frequency. Yeah, so uh, pretty old school, I believe. This even opens up. Let's have a quick sneak peek inside. For those who are curious, and there you have it. it. Looks pretty uh, fresh, to be honest. Looks pretty fresh. So the crystal plugs in just here, right there. There's a little pot for a uh, pot here as well, actually. Changes some stuff. The capstick were good. It looks like it would work. I don't see why not. Can we pop it out of the, its case? Take a look at that. Oh, we can. Doesn't seem to be much corrosion. There's a little something here going on. Is that corrosion? Maybe a bit of water got in or something at some point, but it's pretty clean. It looks pretty well made. I mean, it is a Tamiya product, so there we have it. Let's pop this back in. Close up the case. Uh, that's it. We'll give it a little clean. You know, somebody might want it. You never know. Nostalgia purposes. I mean, the area antenna looks alright. Like it's in good condition. So yeah, that is really good. Now let's take a look at the uh, at the uh, speed controller, the ECU. All right. So we've got the uh, the two wires that go to the motor. We've got the power. The battery just here. What's we got? We've got the power switch, the on-off switch. Yeah, what we previously uh, unscrewed. The car. You have the uh, power to the receiver and the uh, throttle to the receiver. That's a little set button here, 
a small little LED. I mean, it's a shame we can't power this on because I don't have anything hooked up to the moment. Uh, it, what is the model number? It is the TEU 101 BK PET Speed Controller by Taimia. So, yeah, perhaps we'll give this a little clean as well. Somebody might want it. It is uh, made in Malaysia. But, yeah. There you go, there you have it. Old school uh, RC tech. The uh, NICAD battery is nothing to uh, write home about. It is bog standard, uh, zero markings. Uh, the shell does say uh, NICAD 7.2 volts, so I would assume that is exactly what it is. Uh, some of the old school connectors, you still find these to most of you on uh, modern RCs, but yeah, uh, we'll be upgrading all, all, of, all of this kind of stuff. The motor in here is a, a 540 motor, brushed. Yep, yeah. I mean, uh, this was uh, as good as it got back in the day. As good as it got. There is the uh, the model number for those who care 62227 3E264432. Uh, we're going to have to keep this uh, collar adapter for the new motor that's coming in and also the uh, pinion here. I've taken out the servo here. This is for the steering. It's a TPS3003. I'm not really familiar with this servo, to be honest. It's uh, made in Taiwan. It's a tiny bit of rust on that screw. Hopefully, this uh, works all fine. Because <laughs> we're going to be leaving this actually in the in the uh, in the car. I mean, we have got a somewhat taken down now. I haven't really uh, investigated anything in here. I haven't really, I mean, all the linkages here seem to be working completely fine, you know. So, uh, I don't think there's much point uh, messing about with that. All that does is really good clean. Back here, everything seems to be working a okay. Seems very smooth, no grinding, nothing like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, just needs a really good clean, and obviously, we want to get the, uh, the uh, suspension the shocks uh, replaced and that is it what we're going to do now is we're just going to basically clean her up and then uh, wait for the uh, new parts to arrive happy days one thing I did want to show was how there's so much these guys need some grease <laughs> all of the little ball joints uh, yeah seem to be yeah in need of some attention yeah but we'll definitely clean those, clean those up with some alcohol first give the whole thing a once over and uh, like things like this, you see the screws a bit loose. Just some general tightening up and stuff like that. We'll get all that done. Just using some uh, nice proper alcohol to uh, break down a lot of this old grease and muck. Yeah, and then what I'll do, uh, I'll just use a bit of soapy water on all the plastics and uh, probably soak the bearings a bit in uh, some isopropyl alcohol and then I get them uh, greased up basically. Maybe some light oil, I'll, have, I'll, I'll think about it. These are basically where the gearboxes are. This is where, uh, this, is where this lives basically and uh, yeah. Go get that all cleaned up. Right, with the bearings, I would like to soak these guys in some alcohol. Uh, some isopropyl alcohol that is. And then after this, once they dry, I shall 
get me some validity 40 and then most likely some grease just have a look make sure they're right there I mean it sounds a tiny bit greedy but I mean that is to be expected you know what I mean that seems alright that one seems not too bad this one's got a little bit of rust on it looks like is that rust or is that dirt I think that's just stuck on yeah that's just Bit, bit of dirt. Let's see if we can't save these bearings. They seem right, they don't seem gritty or anything. They seem quite smooth. And this one did seem a bit gritty, but it looks like it maybe it's just sank on the surface. It seems to have freed itself on now. I'll let that sit for a little bit and then, uh, yeah, we'll come back and we'll soak them in some WD 40 as well. Just, just soak them in a bit of alcohol first, get any of the old grease off, muck and stuff over the years. It's been sitting around. I don't know if it's been in the rain or what, or you know what I mean. Alright, guys, everything's been cleaned. <clears throat> everything's been cleaned well, as much as I. Uh, I'd just like to clean it, still a bit of grime here and there, but I mean, it is uh, much better than what it was. I've just started to uh, put things back together again, so uh, let's get on and do it. So. Right gentlemen, unfortunately uh, my uh, camera died during that uh, last video and uh, I wasn't able to capture uh, the entire uh, assembly, uh, reassembly. Um, but what we'll do now is that I'm just basically waiting for parts to come in now. So um, what we'll do, we'll resume this on a part two when all the new parts come in. And uh, we'll continue uh, building her up and then uh, we'll get her out into uh, the park or something like that and we'll see how fast we can make her go and if she's not fast enough then uh, we will upgrade the motor once again and more than likely the speed controller as well because I'm not sure if the 45 amp will uh, be as fast as I like so um, until then I might give you a few more little close ups of uh, how clean it is now it is a lot better but it's not as uh, it's not 100% it's, you know what I mean it's not 
uh, brand new or anything like that, but it is a lot better than what it was. Anyway, enough of me waffling. Uh, I shall see you guys soon.